Hello fam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jane. I'm a New York City based personal trainer. This is my Papa Rooney. Harley. Harley say hi to the camera. <laughs> So today I thought it would be fun to go through my sneaker collection. I get a lot of questions about my sneakers, so I thought it'd be good to just like put it all in one spot. So let's go ahead and jump into my sneaker collection. We're gonna start with a new favorite of mine. So these are the Nike Blazers. Normally I feel like the color I see is the, I think it's just black, like black and white color, which is the ones that I wanted. And they were actually sold out of like everywhere. And then they launched these and I just thought they were so fun with that orange. And then on this side, they have kind of like a cutout orange as well as a gold Nike check on the laces. So that's super fun. So I love these. I train in these every now and then. I feel like it's great to just kind of spice up an outfit. I also feel like these are awesome in jeans, like more as a lifestyle shoe. But if you were gonna work out in them, I recommend like strength training. They're not great for like any kind of cardio, nothing like that, but they are good just for like weightlifting. I also feel like the bottoms are so much fun. Like when you're walking, people see the orange and they're like, ooh, who's that girl? What does she know, you know? So I love these shoes. They're also surprisingly comfortable, but not for like the first three times you wear them. So if you're gonna wear them, wear them to drinks first or something, like something where you're not gonna be on your feet for that long because the first few times they're not comfy, but now that I've broken them in, they're like, I mean, I could, I could wear them all day, they're great. Such fun detailing all through these shoes. Should we just stick on the theme of lifestyle shoes first and then we'll get into like training shoes? Let's do that. So next up for lifestyle shoes, I'm gonna preface this with I know that these are dirty, but I live in New York and like that's just kind of the vibe here sometimes. So super dirty shoes. I kind of forget what these are called, but I will look it up, but they're just like Nike Air Maxes. And they had a color that was like this, like they're not quite white. I think the color is called Say. Sale. But they had that color and I loved them and then they sold out so fast. I actually like made my own version of this But I just made them to look like the colorway that was sold out a nice little Nike hack If there's a colorway you like and they sell out most of the time You can just make your own colors and you can make it look pretty similar again a great for lifestyle I think these look so good with jeans. They look good with dresses I choose this over like an Air Force one which my Air Force ones are ruined So I need to get new ones, but I would choose this over an Air Force one if I like it want more of an athletic look. So I feel because of like the pointed toe and of course like the iconic Air Max. Sorry, if you can hear Harley eating. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Air Pack as well as like the black Nike check on the side just makes an outfit look a little more athletic. So I love these, especially with like a tight dress and like a baseball hat or even like I wear like this little sweatshirt over dresses sometimes. All right, last true lifestyle shoe that i have are these vans very classic checkered vans i wear these like every now and then if i'm really trying to just dress up a look but maybe i have like a colorful top and none of my other shoes really like go well with it and i want to kind of add a little bit of uh, like an edge to it then i would choose something like this these are lifestyle shoe through and through especially because these are the platform shoes so i would not even lift in these i would work in these but i would not like weightlift in them because of the platform. To me, I just don't trust myself. That's just not a safe bet. So these are definitely more lifestyle. I think they look really cute with leggings. And I think they also look great with little dresses and stuff, especially if you want more of, I must have like a punk look. I don't know if like that's really the word that we want to use, but more of like an edgy kind of vibe. They're just a fun, a fun classic shoe. All right, we're gonna get into my training shoes. So these are the shoes that I actually like work out in. Before I got Metcons, which we'll get to in a minute, I needed a weightlifting shoe and I chose these super reps. Let me show you both of them. They don't have this colorway anymore, but they do have it in a few other color options. What's fun about these two is that they do have like a mesh right here. It does add kind of just like a cool texture to the shoe, especially a white shoe, you'll notice that most of my shoes are just white shoes and so when we add a little bit of texture a little pop of color i think that it just makes them stand out and can like lift elevate is the word i want to use elevate the outfit a little bit these are also really really great for weightlifting because they are surprisingly flat i don't think they really look like it i feel like they look more like a running shoe but once you put them on they're really flat and i think that they're really really great for weightlifting i will say these are like not the most comfortable shoe that i own like they're not my favorite these have never been like my go-to except for when i didn't have my cons i would definitely like go more towards these when I was trying to weight lift. Overall, I think that they're cute. I think that they add a lot of like cool texture and they make him like elevate the look, but I don't really feel like these are my absolute favorites, favorites, favorites. Which brings me 
to my favorite favorite favorites which is my new Nike Metcons. So these are definitely my favorite as far as any kind of strength training or cross training. I just feel like these are really great shoes. They're super versatile in what you can do. So I wear these to the gym and my training pretty much always looks the same. We start off with a really dynamic warm up. These are great for that because I'm trying not to touch the bottom, but they're really, really flexible through the front here. They're also super flat. So when we get into more power movements and strength training movements, do you like my shoes? And weightlifting, they're really great for that because the shoe is so flat, so I don't have a hard time pushing through my heel. I feel very balanced because they don't have a super wide part right here. Sometimes you see like really wide parts across the bottom of the shoe right there, um, which is great for running where you're going back and forth. But if you're trying to also move side to side, it's better to have something that's a little bit more narrow. So this is really great for cross training. So I get into my weightlifting and that's all fantastic. And then when I finish off with cardio, I love sprinting. I love rowing. I love uh, getting on like an aerodyne bike or an assault bike. These are equally as great for that. So I feel like they're a very versatile shoe, especially if you like to do a lot of different stuff in the gym. These are your new best friend and I'm obsessed with this colorway. I think it's so fun. We have a little bit of like orange and bright blue on the back. Check out these laces. Look at how fun these laces are. The laces was really the thing that sold me on these shoes. I love that they're still pretty neutral, but we do get these little pops of color to, to lighten it up, you know, to make it more, more of a fun shoe. These are my other favorite shoes and these are also very dirty because I wear them so much, I honestly should get a new pair. These are the Nike Phantoms. These are awesome shoes because they're just so comfortable. I think that they're great for commuting. I think that they're great for maybe light cardio because there's not laces and you can't tighten it. I honestly don't think that they're super great for like high intensity sprints or like a group fitness class or something like that. I would just want a little bit more security in the shoe. These definitely like slip a little bit, but I think they're super comfortable to walk around in. I think that they can make your outfits look very nice. I love the clean white look. I love that the no laces, I feel like makes it look really modern. I love these shoes are just so easy to slip on when I am tired and Harley's crying and she wants to go outside. These are just so easy to slide on. I love the no laces, but again, as far as like working out in them goes, I would opt more for the Metcons. But they are the most comfortable shoe item. This is like out of all of the shoes, if you're going for comfort, this is it. This is just so comfy. The next two shoes are the shoes that I get a like bizarre amount of questions on. People love these shoes and everyone wants the details on it. So I'm gonna give you the details right now. Let's go ahead and kick it off with these Nike 270s. I love the colorway. I feel like Nike 270s, this is my second pair. I have an all black pair too, but they are not in this haul because they're like very not cute. It is my Take Harley to the Park shoe. Like they're very dirty, so we're just gonna leave them out. But I do love this shoe. I think it like, again, really elevates the look. I think it looks very modern. It looks really fun. I think the colorway too adds a lot of personality to your outfit, especially if you're like me and you're more of a neutrals person. This is a way to really spice up your look without really putting in too much effort. These shoes are super comfortable, but I do not recommend any kind of strength training in them because this heel is so elevated that it really forces your feet to kind of go on an angle like that. And when you're strength training, there's a hair on this one. Ew. When you're strength training, you really want to be able to push solidly through your heel. Ideally, your foot would be a tripod, so you put like most of the weight through the heel as well as a little bit of weight through the big toe and then on the outer corner here. So we want to tripod, tripod our feet. And in a shoe that's super elevated like this, it kind of forces you onto your toes. It's really, really difficult to do that unless you have just like great mind-body connection and you can really force that. So especially for my strength training beginners, this is not the show I'd recommend for you, but I think it's great for commuting. I think it's great to just have like a fun sneaker you want. Okay, my camera died but we're back. They look really great with leggings. I think you could potentially wear them with a dress. Not sure, I honestly just live in leggings, so I just always style them that way. Last pair I have, these are the Quest, this is the, mm. <laughs> I'm losing it. Last pair of sneakers I have, these are the sneakers I get just like the most amount of questions on, and these are the Nike Heights. These are so cute. They are white, they have little specks of these like bright blue and they just look very stylish like very fashion forward the only thing i do not like about these is that the laces on them are so freaking long that even when they're tied they can still like sneak under the shoe so like that's kind of annoying i feel like they just make my work outfits like look 
like I put in more effort than I did a lot of the times because they are just very fashion forward. They also remind me of like something I feel like you would be wearing on the set of Set Active. That's the kind of vibe that they give me. They're really comfortable. I don't think that they're like the most comfortable shoe that I have. I also don't think honestly that they're great for working out. I feel like these are definitely just a look, you know? I don't know if anyone watching this um, is like into biking, but I do, I like city bike to and from work and these are the worst shoes to bike in because the pedal always gets stuck in this little, little cutout right there and it's just very, very annoying. So these are not great for that, um, but they are super cute. I get compliments on them every time I wear them. I have never, ever, ever been able to find these on the Nike website. I'm pretty sure I got these from Zappos. So I'll, I'll try to search them and see if I can find them, but I feel like these really do just like make a look a full on look, you know? That is my sneaker collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm gonna have everything linked down below if you wanted to snag a pair yourself so we can be twins. And if you have any additional questions that I didn't answer in the video, be sure to comment them below. And I will see y'all in my next video.